Hello everybody, it is me, BioZero, and I am back for another spectacular episode of RL Craft. I just noticed you can't even see my eyeballs with this dragon mask. <laughs> you just see my eyebrows. <laughs> well, as you can kind of tell with the dragon armor, I went back to my base and I fixed myself up some better armor some probably the best armor that i think i can manage i got advanced protection advanced mending breaking thorns i only have unbreaking three on this one i can get unbreaking four on these if i wanted like this yeah i just realized that i i didn't do that on those but i even have strength and vitality five which gives me more health and then I have my boots. There's a ton of stuff on my boots. It makes me uh, be able to do a lot of things. It makes me jump super crazy high. So I'm pretty fast. I can jump super high. I can jump on top of my base. Like, and I'm basically invincible. Like, I mean, I'm not invincible. Things can still kill me. There's a lot of ways I can die. It's RL craft. I'm not going to claim to be invincible. But I'm pretty OP. And I lost the Scarlight Reaver. I uh, did not realize that the Curse of Possession meant that if you die while holding it, then you lose it forever because it can't leave your your inventories. And so I had to make a new sword. And I did lots and lots and lots of enchanting. And it took me like multiple real world full days to get this. <laughs> of me working with my enchanting room, using my new disenchantment table, all the books I've been collecting, all the... Basically, I made the strongest sword you can make in RL Craft. You can't even see all the enchantments on it, but let me... I'm not gonna explain all of them. If you want to uh, know how I made this, go look up some nuts guy on YouTube. He uh, does RL Craft videos. And that's where I found out how to do my... A lot of my stuff, actually, I've learned from some nuts guy. He's really good, so go check him out. But, uh, yeah, this is a sword he, uh, he helped me create. And I am in love with it. It is awesome. My bow is really good. But it could be better. Like, it could have pull speed. But I can't seem to get that to work on my bow for some reason. But I'm not worried about it. So now that we're caught up, are we caught up? Hold on. I think I have, like, really good baubles. So I got Masterful on all my stuff. I have Undying on everything. I even got a, uh, a Ring of Resistance. I finally got one of the Stoneling guys. And I don't know why I have an Armored Balloon bobble. I guess that's, I don't know. That's the spot I'm going to have, like, I want to get an Ankh Shield because I've been collecting the stuff to get it. Or an Ankh pendant or whatever it is. I think there's two different things for that. But uh, I need to go to the end for that. And that is part of what I want to do this episode, actually. Is I want to go to the end. With I have plenty of Eyes of Ender. And I am pretty confident in my character's ability at this point. So I don't think I'm going to get destroyed. So I'm actually going to go ahead and craft some ender chests because I don't have as much as I think I want. Eight more this time. And then I'm going to put the ender chest in my end chest. Oh, I, I need one in my inventory. And let me grab the stuff I want to do before we go to the end. I want to finally hatch a dragon egg. And I actually tried doing it previously and it failed. I had a red dragon egg. I don't know if that's the color of the one I got a couple episodes ago, but I found a couple more dragon dens, and with this new sword, uh, tier 5 dragon is like nothing. It's really quite uh, sad, actually, to think that like something so powerful gets destroyed so quickly, but actually with this endeavor, I think you can scoop him up with the dragon horn, so I'm going to do that real quick once if he spawns. Last time I summoned the, the red dragon egg, and I did it over here, underneath that glowstone, and I literally walked over here to feed the bookworms, and 
I came back and there was no egg and no dragon. So this time I'm going to stand right here. I'm going to put the egg here and I'm going to stare at this until it hatches. No ifs, ands, or buts. <laughs> of course, I will cut this uh, part of the video out so you don't have to um, sit here and watch an egg on fire for however long this takes. But I'm not taking any chances. I'm not going to lose another dragon egg. So, yeah. Oh, I guess we'll be right back once it hatches. I'm just going to sit back and watch the screen. <laughs> Oh, 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 it did it! <laughs> I have a dragon! It's a fire dragon. Come here. Woo! It's in, it's in the horn. Fire dragon, unnamed. Female. Oh, it's a female. Stage one. Zero days old. Um, so now that I have a, a little dragon baby. Oh, wrong room. That's my potion brewing room. Uh, it's... Let's see what... Ha I don't know if I want to feed it quite yet. But I want to see how the command staff works. And I'm gonna... After I play with it for a sec, we're gonna go to the end. So, I'm gonna... So, what I just... Okay. This dragon is stain, this dragon is wander, this dragon is stain. So you can stay or wander. So, wander, stay. It's so cute, look at it! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! The noise it makes! So can I only put, um... Oh, I want to feed it! I'm feeding it, I don't care. It's so adorable. I need some water in my canteen. I got plenty of food to feed it. Let's see what happens. How much food does it need? Oh gosh, it gets big fast. Okay, let's make sure I have my staff on hand. So what is it? Wander. Can you do you follow when you wander, or do you just wander? You just wander. Now, can I still pick you up when you're this big? I can. I wonder how... Can I hold like a full-grown dragon with this? That'd be awesome. Oh, it's flying! Uh-oh. No, come back. Come back, baby. You need, you need not fly right now. Yes, yeah, stay. Hey, can I push you? Yeah, go go this way. <laughs> this is fun. Okay, so let's keep feeding it. It's getting really big. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This seems huge. So can I... I can still put it in here. Okay. I can still place it. Uh... Fire dragon. <laughs> You're adorable. Let's keep feeding you. I can just hold down on you. I click it a bunch of times. I don't know how. Uh... So now my dragon is gigantic. Uh... And I can still put it in here. What is it? It's stage four. Okay. So I want to get it to stage five, right? Stage five is the biggest stage. Oh. What just happened? Did I just dupe that somehow? I'm confused. Oh. Oh my gosh. I can, like, walk around. I'm not even... I don't even have a saddle. Keep feeding it. Oh, I think it just went to stage five. Oh 
my gosh. Can I... This thing's huge. Uh, oh my gosh. Uh, so, can I still fit it in this? Breaking laws of physics. Uh, <laughs> it looks like I can. Oh, I can! Oh my gosh. Okay, so... Of course, I'm going to need arrows. A bunch of arrows, most likely. So I'm just going to grab a bunch. And I'm probably going to need some golden apples. I'll just grab the regular kind. Why not? And I want some empty bottles, for sure, because... Let me just try the glass. Because I want to get some dragon's breath. Because the Ender Dragon is the only way to get uh, Dragon's Breath, I am pretty sure. Okay, I don't need that many. I don't even know what I need Dragon's Breath for. I just heard of other players, like, using it for stuff, so... I'm gonna try to get some Dragon's Breath. And the big part of going to the end, and why I want to go there, is for two reasons, mostly, is I want pinky meat so I can make the battle burrito, and I want, um, I want shulker boxes, because I'm tired of using the little crate things that are, oh yeah, and I can double jump, the crate things which only give you like one row of, of like, portable storage, what I mean is awesome, but shulker box is way better, of course, alright, oh, before I throw this, I want to explain real quick. I got 50 levels because I've maxed out every skill. And I've maxed out every level up reloaded uh, path you can do. So, yeah, I'm all set with that. So, let's see where this takes us. This way. So, good old fashioned. Good old fashioned end portal hunting. So let's run this way a little bit. Still this way. I do not know uh, what the end is going to be like in RL Craft. I have not like seen it in anyone's video, or I just know there's pinkies there. I don't even know what a pinky is. Is that a Jengu somewhere? I don't know. I don't know what that was. Ooh, why are there these guys here? This is kind of odd. Freeze ya. Let's play freeze tag. You're it. Okay. Keep going. Where are they going? They're going down now. Okay, it looks like I'm... I should be above. Maybe that's why these guys are here. I wonder if these guys indicate a stronghold nearby. Because you see them near... Uh... That guy survived? Alright, well let's dig down and find out. close, right? I saw it. It was like what well, the world was loading. Uh, they just disappeared. Yep, I'm at bedrock. Okay, I'm gonna do the good old F3A trick. Uh-oh. Doesn't seem to be working anymore. No, it's not working. Hmm. Alright, let's just dig down in another spot, I, I guess. It's gotta be around here somewhere. I saw it. Oh, oh. Too much stuff, too fast. 
do I get out of here? This way. Oh, I need a grapple. See that? Aha! Found it. Yeah! I spy. And here's one of my eyes of Ender. So let's try to find the portal room now. My hunch was correct about those guys. Okay, this has got to be the most hardest stronghold portal I've ever found. I could not find... Oh, he has one thing. That's all right. I got a stack of them. I could not find this thing to save my life. And sorry, Silverfish Spawner. You are not very useful to me. So, yeah, that was really more difficult than I feel like it should have been. I can't believe I haven't been picking up blocks this whole time. I've, like, destroyed this entire place. And I didn't pick up a single block. I'm gonna get rid of the lava. Because I don't want any weird lava things to spawn. As they tend to do in RL crap. Not, like, it's that big of a deal, but... Just to do it. Feel like it. I... One thing I just realized I don't have... I'm going into the end. And I don't even have blocks. Huh. That's alright, you know, I'll just do this real fast. Okay, so... <laughs> we have finally found ourselves the end portal. And it's actually the second time of me trying to record this. That's why the silver spawner is broken. Because I had a phone call interrupt me, and I didn't like how it was going. So, let's go ahead and place our Eyes of Ender and begin our journey to Orocraft's end dimension. Oh boy. Um, I don't even know if recall potion is going to work in the end. That would be a good experiment. So I should probably have the apples on my hotbar. Uh, I don't even have blocks, but whatever. That's fine. I, don't, I still have my flint and steel. I don't even need that. Okay. I want the dragon's breath. Let's have a recall potion, and hell, oh, we'll have bandages too. All right, I think I'm over prepared. Okay, where am I? Please be inside the end island. And... Oh, okay, good. Oh, I was really worried. I didn't want to like fall into the void. Okay, so we are in the end dimension. First time being here. And so far, so good. Gonna throw down an ender chest. Okay. Um, don't need the eyes of ender anymore. And don't need the six recall potions. So now I suppose we work our way to the surface and see what this the fuss is all about. So I consider the Ender Dragon the mother of all dragons, the Moad. And there is the surface. And there's a lot of lichenite creatures coming. What are these guys? Guys? Okay, that wasn't too bad. That summon felt. Oh, why are you inside the end stone? Okay. So these creatures don't... I don't know what those are. But I want to make sure I fly over the island. 
What is this? I don't want to look at it in case it's like alive. It's a giant obsidian enderman. Huh. It's got crystals for eyes. Is it a real enderman? Okay. I'm getting destroyed. Oh, there's the dragon. Nope, there is more eyes. Ooh. Okay. Beacons are easy. This is easy mode. Don't normally get to fight the dragon while I'm on my own dragon. Well, felt isn't really a dragon, but still. It's like an ominous uh, song being played in the background. You guys hear that? Oh, I broke the hole. There we go. What is that thing? Okay. Now this one is stopping. So there's even more end crystals in this because of those Enderman things. Which is interesting. Did I blow up this one already? Those things look like, uh, I think there's a boss called Asmodeus, if I'm correct. Those creatures look like miniature versions of it. Alright, I think that's all of them, right? So... Now what I need to do is somehow get Dragon's Breath. And in order to do that, I need to land. Oh, there's another one. See, it would not be fun to get instability in here. Um, can I make you uh, breathe somewhere? See, that's what I'm really worried about is instability. I should stay near the center if I can. Why are these... Did these guys just spawn? I hope they don't. So, I want the dragon's breath. That's... That's the goal, right? Get the dragon's breath. Does this give me... Yeah, come here. Okay, I got seven dragon's breath. Is that Epion? Strange that that's here. Let's come at me. Whoops. I said whoops. I like the come on. Give me more of that spit. There we go. Where's this gonna go? And it's gonna not hit anything. Oh, oh. Where is he going to land? Over here. Okay, 14. I think I can get seven dragon breaths from each uh, time he does that. Or she. I think the ender dragon is a she. Oh, Definitely grabbed way too many arrows. Ooh, but I'm going to be able to get the black dragon skill from this. Why can't I fly? What is catching? Oh, there's a cobweb in the middle of the sky. Deal with this one. Oh gosh, I hope that's not too loud. You know, I have the volume turned down so far, and yet somehow it's always very loud. I don't understand. Well, now I hear that it's loud. Hold on. What sound is that? Music and sound. See, master volume turned on to 40. The audio output capture on my recording is turned down to like 40. So, ambient environment, footsteps, player, um, hostile creatures, weather, biomes. I didn't even know biomes make music or make noise. Okay, I hope that helps. Oh. Come on, 
on, give me more dragons, bro. I'm just gonna float around like that. Oh, there you go. Where is he gonna hit? Oh. Who is spider webbing me? Because they need to die. It's probably this guy. This geist. Right here. Okay, I got eight more bottles. Dragon, I don't want to kill you like too quickly. It's kind of like sad to say to a boss, like, don't hit me, I don't want you to die. Careful. There we go. Oh, it hit over here. Alright, that should be good. Yeah, you are not fun to be around. Okay, so let's let's finish him. Biotite. Oh, that's the ore. I didn't know Ender Biotite was an ore. What is it? that invisible thing? It's an invisible geist. Okay, I need that Ender Biotite. That's what I'm looking for. Is this more Black Dragon skills? Definitely need that. Don't want to waste those. What is this? Pinky meat. Oh. If I stay on my mount, it doesn't seem like the instability affects me. Which is really handy. Handy dandy. Give me all this pinky meat. I guess that's okay for my first time being here. Um, yeah, so let's... I'm not gonna grab that egg, because I... Should I? I mean, might as well do it for the trophy, but I don't have a torch. Yeah. I won't. I'm just gonna return home. Alright. <laughs> And there we go, we beat Minecraft in RLCraft. I don't know how much longer these settings are. Can I skip this? Yes, I can, haha. -ha. I don't know if I skipped anything cool, but I skipped it for sure. Whoa, why is my health reset? Huh. 
Why did I take a ton of damage coming through the portal? That's odd, to say the least. Okay, what do I need the biotype for? Forget. Weather sensor. Randomizer. The shield of honor. What does this do? Resistance while explosion resistance. And... Ooh, no, the... This is what I need it for, because I actually have the Demon Soul Stone. You use it for summoning bosses. Okay. Um, technically, it's an ore, so I'll put it in the ore chest. And this is an interesting piece. I'm glad I got that. I'm going to have to play with that later. But right now, what I do with the... Uh... So I can make dragon arrows... I can make the uh, dragon gem. Is that it? Huh. What do dragon arrows even do? I don't know. I was hoping that uh, there would be more use for it. But oh well. But now that I have the... Uh, give me this cracked dragon scale. I'm pretty sure you do some anvil business like this. Right? No? Is it crafting table business? No? Okay, what is, what kind of business do I need to do? Um, so let's look up Ankh. I want to end the video with this. So I need a Bezor with the black dragon scale. Now what's the point of the cracked one? Oh, you use another star. Do I have another star? Um, I don't have another star? Alright, well, we're going to save that for the next episode, I suppose, because we need to fight a wither for that. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed me uh, raising my baby dragon to an adult and then taking out its great-great-grandmother from uh, this earth, well, from the universe, because it was on a different dimension, no plane. Okay, well, <laughs> that's kind of dark, but uh, I <laughs> hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.